Time for a real challenge. The ice spikes biome is one of the hardest to survive in. There are no trees, no food, and no mobs. And I am not only gonna survive here, somehow I am going to survive 100 days in hardcore Minecraft and at the end, battle three withers at once. How am I gonna do that? Well, first I need to find some wood. I've gotta be really, really fast here. You do get random grass blocks and on them there's a chance to get a tree. So either I need that, a ruined portal or a mine shaft. I have discovered a cave. This is probably my best chance. I do see light, but... Is there gonna be what I need? I'm just gonna jump. This is this is already a disaster. This has turned out to be a pretty good cave. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I've found diamonds. I have no way to obtain these diamonds, but <laughs> that's pretty cool. I can get some cobblestone if I blow him up. There we go. We got six pieces. That's pretty good. Although I'm now on three hearts. Things are starting to look a little bit dire. You know, it's a sad day when you have to break stone with your fist. Oh my goodness. Even more diamonds. All I want is a mine shaft. How can that be so hard? More creepers. They're just gonna be useful for blocks if nothing else. I've now lost so much hunger that I can't even sprint. What have we got here? It looks like, okay, it's a bit of a ravine. That's pretty good. Although navigating along here without being able to sprint jump is going to be a challenge. It's going to take a miracle if I come out of here alive. Look at that, another creeper. Okay, can he even get up here? I hope not. I need the blocks. I'm going to have to blow him up. Okay, we're down to one and a half hearts. And look at that, an amethyst geode. I'm finding all sorts of amazing things, but not what I want to find. Come to another bit of a mini ravine. And there's gravel. That's going to be very useful. A stack of gravel should be enough to get me through. Turns out this is a dead end. It seems that this ravine also connects to another ravine. We have to do something like this. There we go. Oh my goodness. That looks like a mob spawner and I see a chest. And we've got a mine shaft. Okay, okay, okay. Right, this, this is huge. I can actually get some, I can't get any food from this, but at least I can get wood. I know this is very, very risky, but I need to get to this chest. Okay, hopefully nothing can detect me. We've got a bit of wheat. Oh, we've not really got any food. I'm just going to eat this and see if I can regen from it. And these creepers, oh my goodness. Okay, everything's okay. We're still alive. I desperately need to find some chests. And now with this wood, I can make a crafting table and some sticks. So let's make an iron pickaxe and a stone axe. Okay, that's definitely going to help. We also have all this raw iron. Now let's use this axe to collect loads of wood. And we've got a chest. Okay. And we've got bread and a golden apple. Okay, that's all very useful. I'm going to take these seeds because food is difficult to get. I think I'm going to eat the golden apple now and then that just regens me right back up. Now if I craft a few more sticks and also a sword. And this sword can be used to get cobwebs. These cobwebs will give me string, which can be used to make wool. I can then use to make a bed. Let's also keep grabbing any iron that we see. There's even more of it right here. And now I need a little bit more cobblestone, which can then be turned into a furnace. And after grabbing a little bit of coal, I can smelt my iron. And while I wait for that, I'm going to grab loads more wood. And up here, there is loads of iron. Let's add that to the furnace. An armor can begin to be made, as well as a shield, which is probably going to be useful. Probably a good idea to use two furnaces as well. Let's make some leggings and also an iron axe. And what have we got here? Another mob spawner with a creeper on it. Okay, let's just first break. Well, <laughs> that broke it. And look at this, a bucket and a little bit more wheat. We can make two more bread. But all in all, the chests in the mob spawners have not been very good. Let's also pick up this water, craft the rest of my armor, and also collect up more wood. So now I have full armor, all the iron tools that I need, and quite a bit of food. And I'm going to need a lot more things if I want to defeat the hardest bosses. So that means going back to the surface. And the best way to do that is going to be by digging straight up. I certainly feel a lot more confident up here, but now I need to find something else that is extremely rare. Okay, this was not what I was looking for, but without a doubt, Wow, it's a great thing to find, especially because there's obsidian, flint, nice, and another iron ingot. And look at that, I brought four golden helmet. That's going to be huge. And so now the hunt can continue. Yes, <laughs> for grass. Extremely rare. And he got, I got a seed. Look at that. One hit, one seed. And hang on a minute. What do I see through the ice? A tree. These things are so, so rare, but <laughs> everything's starting to come together. Let's grab all of the wood. Now we need to hope that we get a sapling. It's not looking good. I've mined all this. And <laughs> so, okay, we got one. Perfect. It looks like it's only one. Whilst I'm here, I'm going to grab this dirt. I've just realized I'm now out of bread. I can't really spend any more time exploring. Although, hey, we found sugar cane just lying on the ground. Perfect. How much have we got? Two. That's huge. But yeah, it's probably a good time to stop exploring and set up some kind of base. I have to say, I quite like this little area. Let's add water at this side, then craft a hoe, add a little bit of light along here, plant the seeds, and uh, wait for them to grow. I'm also going to switch this stone out and change it to be dirt, and then plant melon seeds along here, and finally beetroot. On this side, a bit of sugarcane, and since I have no bone meal, I will just wait for it to grow. In the meantime, I can explore this cave. We've got an enderman here. Didn't drop a pearl though. Is that a cave? Turns out it's just a place you can get more water, but hey, that's going to be useful because now all of this can be made into infinite water sources and things are looking a lot better, but I need to find something in the caves. I was hoping to find a cave, but it looks like we're going to instead go dive mining. And there's lava. Okay. <laughs> well, I found the cave. Oh my goodness. And it's not just a cave. It's an entire ravine. It doesn't get much better than this. No sign of diamonds, but it is possible to use lapis. If I go four blocks in this direction and dig straight down, we come straight to diamonds and eight of them for that matter, which is pretty 
nice. And that's why Lapis is a great ore to find. Doesn't seem to be much else here for me, so I'm going to continue mining. More diamonds. Beautiful. Okay, these are deep slate ones as well. It looks like we've got at least four. No, make that five. So that's 13 now. We seem to have come to a little lava lake. No use for me. I'm going to keep on mining. My pickaxe has just broken, so I'm upgrading to a diamond one. Okay, well, yeah, so we've got some more. And there's quite a few. So how many diamonds have we got all together now? 16. Okay, I'm getting close to full diamond armor. And there's some lapis here. Can I use the trick again? So four blocks this way. And then I'll have to check above me. Okay, and then they were above me. Sometimes they're below, sometimes they're above. It depends what Y level you're on. But it really is a powerful trick for finding diamonds. More diamonds. Perfect. It doesn't look like it's going to be too many, though. At least, well, this is the second and the third one. But that's 22 in total. Just one more vein to go. I've just dug underneath lava. Does this mean there's a cave here? Yes, there is. And there's lapis. Okay, well, we know what that means. In theory, either above me or directly below, there should be diamonds. But I'm guessing these ones spawned in the bedrock. Hang on a minute. <laughs> well... I guess maybe they just spawned in the cave and the cave over them because the diamonds on this instance are the same level. Look, there's lapis everywhere. So we've got that. So those relate to those ones. So maybe this way we're going to have more diamonds. I'm just going to dig down and hope for the best. Well, it's definitely a very inconsistent one. None down there. But I shall still collect the lapis. But you know what 24 diamonds means? Full diamond armor. And there we go. Looking very nice indeed. Now, if I really want to progress, the items in this world just aren't going to be enough. And so I'm going to grab the small supply of items that I have and head to a brand new dimension. Let's light up the portal. And here it is. The Frostland. This frozen wasteland is going to let me get loads more items, but there's still lots of dangers to be found, including powdered snow that covers the land, which you definitely don't want to fall into. One of the main things this place is going to get me is food. And look at that. Mushrooms. Lots and lots of mushrooms. Let's carefully bridge across. Also, piglings are getting a bit angry at me. Let me put this gold helmet on and start collecting these. Look at this. There's absolutely loads. We've got about 30 of those, 28 of the brown ones. We're sorted. Can't make ones with dandelions just yet, but it's a great step in the right direction. And we've got hoglins. That's even better. If I just drop some lava like this... I can take this guy out and get some cooked pork chop. And we got four from that. Nice. Look at this. Fossils. Perfect. I can use that bone meal later to get suspicious stew. Even more bone meal here. Perfect. It looks so weird. It looks like there's kind of no floor, but it's all the powdered snow. I would freeze very fast if I fell in there. And look at this. We have found a fortress. I don't really know the best way to get there, so I'm just going to bridge across. Okay, I've got something shooting at me. I'm just going to keep moving. And I'm in. Now then, what can we find here? We've got a chest. And okay, it's got some gold in it. And some Frostlands wart. I'm going to leave the saddle for now. I don't really have a use for it. I've no idea how, guys, but I just got ahead. My RNG really is undefeated. Wait, hold on a second. Is that actually ancient debris? I kind of mined out the body and I was like, okay, what is that? But that might just be ancient debris, you know? There's absolutely no way. I, I mine it. it is ancient debris because it's taken forever to mine. There's two of them. Okay, I, don't take me out now. I'll get rid of the frozen soil. Let's grab all this. I am extremely weak. Hold on. Let's just, um, just patch this up quickly and collect up my two pieces of ancient debris. Is that it? Doesn't get much rarer than that. And now to get the rest of these blaze rods. And now I have 11 blaze rods. That's more than enough. What's in this chest? Okay, just saddles and horse on. We don't get horses in this world. So it's of no use to me. However, this, yeah, a little bit more useful. And finally, another iron ingot. The main thing I would have liked to find in some of those chests was diamonds, but to... It wasn't to be. So let's just get out of here. And I only see one way across here. And it involves finding more hoglins. Because you see, hoglins drop leather. And you can also get it from piglins. And with enough leather, you can make leather boots. And what happens when you walk on powdered snow with leather boots? Well, this is what happens. You become light as a rabbit. This should make exploration way, way easier. And I've just got cold tourist destinations because I've gone to every biome. And look at that up ahead. We have indeed got a bastion. And a poor Enderman, which is looking a little bit frozen. Okay, he managed to get out. Not so poor now, are you? But we got an Ender Pearl. I have to say, this makes leather boots one of the coolest things ever. Now, let's see what we can find here. We have got a chest. Now, I don't want to upset anybody, so I'm just going to dig underneath it. Look at that gold block. So many of them. It looks like we're in a stables bastion. And we've got loads of obsidian and a diamond pickaxe. It's silk touch, so that's definitely an upgrade to my current one. But I'm still going to keep this just in case. This is definitely a place to be very, very careful. But golden carrots. Going to keep using lava buckets on these guys. And just be very, very careful of everything. More obsidian and an iron block. And there's some good items here, but I'm not going to take any of it. Instead, I'm bothered about these guys. Look at it. We've got all them trapped in here. Let's just trade them a load of gold. Got these five gold blocks as well. If I just keep a couple for myself, just in case I need them, we can throw all that to them. Got some more pearls. We've got four now. These guys gave me so many great items, but I don't really have space for most of it. But on that note, I think I'm happy with what I've got. Okay. Um, 
I just got knocked all the way down by that piglin brute. But the powdered snow actually saved me. Take two. I really want this chest. Um, okay, we got an iron block. That's good. And my gold helmet has just been broken, which is probably a good time for me to leave. I do want to check these chests to see if there's anything good. Ancient debris. Perfect. Two of them. And what about this chest quickly? A golden apple. Okay, that's all I want. I'm getting out of here. I can just jump on the powdered snow. And uh, I want to go after Enderman now. Let's try to just place a boat and then take him out that way. And now I have a grand total of nine Ender Pearls. And there's plenty more Endermen to be found. That's number 10. Finally, the 12th one. This is probably a great time to head back home. And here we are, home sweet home. Things are starting to look good. But if I want to beat the real challenges and bosses, then I need to find villagers. I already have sugarcane, which I need for this. But there's plenty more items to collect. I'd say the main one that I still need is spider eyes. Since I've got my brown mushrooms and the sugar and all of that. So yeah, we need to try and find a cave that has spiders in it. It's also a shame that I had to throw away my name tags. They probably would have been useful. And sand. I need sand. How am I going to find that? Don't worry. I've got an idea. Operation find a spider is complete. But I don't think I got a spider eye. Okay, we found diamonds. That's a, that's a pretty nice little thing to find. Currently just picking up the ores because I've got silk touch. It's amazing what you find when you're just looking for spiders. Okay, two more spiders. One of these has got to drop. And it did. Perfect. This once again looks like prime diamond location. But instead we just got lapis. And we did get diamonds this time from digging down. Okay, and I just went straight into lava. But don't worry. I have myself fire resistance okay so you don't panic in those situations the worst part is that my diamonds probably burned also that's why you never dig down in minecraft <laughs> unless you've got fire resistance and then it's okay and on that note i'm gonna go home more grass should we see if we get some seeds <laughs> we didn't here we are home sweet home now these bone blocks can be turned into bone meal and look at this we can get ourselves plenty of wheat. I have to say I've got a pretty good system going for this. Now I can craft plenty more bread and head back to the Frostlands to get my next item. And to do that I am unfortunately going to have to find another bastion because piglins are going to be the only way for me to get glass bottles. Because I'm pretty sure there's no sand in an ice spikes biome. Also going to grab more fossils whilst I'm here. Finally another bastion has been spotted and this is a treasure one so there's going to be loads of good loot. So I reckon my best bet here is going to be to grab this piece of gold and the same on the other side. Then drop lava on these two guys. Next, I can basically just jump straight down and land here and be safe. Let's get rid of the magma spawner. This guy can chase me, but look, he's, he's stuck down here. And next, I can take all the gold that I want. And look at this, diamond, two diamond chest plates, loads of stuff. Who's taking me out now? Iron blocks, a diamond sword, very happy with that. My leather boots have just broken, so um, <laughs> my powdered snow strats are coming to an end. And I've just been hit by this guy. I'm on one heart and um, yeah, <laughs> Better keep moving. I'm just gonna have to take this guy out the old fashioned way. And then I can get back my lava. Found another chest. And we've got some iron and some arrows. That's pretty good. See another one across there. And one over there. This has more gold. And I can upgrade my shovel. That's nice. And another gold block. More bone blocks. Ancient debris would be nice, but... Um, you just kind of get what you get. And in this place, extreme care is going to have to be taken. There's a lot of piglin brutes. Okay, can I just jump past you guys? There we go. Most of these guys can just be distracted with the gold. And the ones that refuse to be... Well, this is what's going to happen to them. And good news, we did get a water bottle. I guess this is a good time to steal the rest of their gold. Because there definitely is a lot of it. And they gave me more leather so I can make more boots. What do these chests have to offer? More gold? Oh, and a piece of ancient debris. I didn't notice that. Might as well go through here and check the other side. What about this double chest? Look at that. More ancient debris. It seems to be so easy to find this in Bastion. Okay, I was uh, <laughs> spending a bit too long in there. But you missed your chance. Now you must face the lava. I'll grab the rest of the hidden gold blocks too. And I think these guys are giving me a total of three bottles. Yeah, look at that. Okay, I didn't mean to throw that away. But yeah, we've got all of these stuff we need now. Which means it's time to head back home and home is a long way in this direction finally back at the portal i can deposit all of this good stuff get some more wheat craft it into bread do a bit of sugarcane farming and i can also harvest my first melon and now it's time to track down a villager that i can cure i've been trying to dig to where i thought there was a cave but look what i found here an amethyst geode right below my house quite a handy thing and it is connected to this cave and that cave is connected to a ravine although i couldn't find what i needed so i'm going back to the surface and it's night time which is perfect i can put this guy in a boat and now I need to make the weakness. So I need a brown mushroom, sugar, and a spider eye. And then I can splash him and give him the golden apple. Now in order to get an infinite amount of villagers, I'm going to need at least one more golden apple. So I'm going to begin my search for a ruined portal, since I think that's the best chance I've got of finding one. I didn't think that they'd be this hard to find. I think I found a better way to track them down. And all that tells me is that there's none nearby and it's time for plan B, which is to instead find a bastion. Hopefully this is the bastion that's going to bring me the gapples. First I'm going to get rid of you, then I can steal all of the gold and hopefully get what I need from these chests. Another piece of ancient debris. It's so crazy, isn't it, how much I'm getting? And I'm no golden apple. I'll have to try the other side instead. I am so close to dying, but I think I'm just about going to survive. But I always have the last laugh, don't worry. 
And now we've got another gold block and the lodestone. Down there is the final chest. This doesn't have a golden apple. We are back to square one. And oh, we got pig step though. Okay, get out of here, Yuki. Panicking me. Yes, we got pig step. Now that is a pretty rare thing. In my opinion, that makes the whole journey worthwhile. So a good bit of looting, but I'm going to have to keep searching. Hopefully this bastion will be different. And chest number one. Okay, no. And here we've got chest number two. Still no. What ancient debris once again. I'm running out of chests here. <laughs> Still none. And this one. Okay, we have got one. Perfect. That's all we needed. I can now go home. It was actually an insanely good chest. There is one more down here. I'm going to try and grab it. Okay, we'll just grab that. That's a pretty good pickaxe. Let me just get that golden got right. I'm, I'm going to try and jump if I can. Although, probably can't. Okay, we're building with obsidian. That's not a good thing. Oh no, that was that was a very stupid thing to do. Well, let's get out of here and get back home. Now that that mission's done, I shouldn't have to come back here again. At least not for quite a while anyway. Now, if I want loads of villagers, I'm going to need loads of beds. Thankfully, I do have all this string so we can make quite a decent amount of wool. And I'm actually going to head back through here and get some more wood. This seems like the perfect place for that. I've also set this guy up trading a load of stuff for me. Hopefully we get some more string. But apparently after all that, we, we still got none. But I can still craft another five beds. And look at that. My villager is waiting patiently here for me. It's time to get you back home, which is a slow and steady process in the boat. And a bit of a faster one when we go over the ice. And I'm thinking right here could be the perfect place for the villagers to live. This should be a big enough room for now. Let's bring this fella in. I'm going to place some blocks along here so that he can't escape. Give him his own bed, which was originally mine, but uh, I guess he can have it. And look at that. Already he wants to escape. No, you're not coming out. I'll make a proper exit area once I've got another villager. And I will also take this opportunity to make some paper. I can also harvest my two melons. Craft another fermented spider eye, which will let me get some weakness. And then tonight I'll get another villager. In the meantime, I'm going to see how my piglin's getting on. Well, <laughs> He's still trading away. And he's giving me some more string. Okay, we can actually make another bed now. And even more string. This guy is brilliant. And because he's doing so well, I'm going to lure a friend over here for him. That's it. Go for the gold. And the darkness has come, so it's time to get searching. I think this is the first time I've actually found a polar bear in this world. Pretty cool. And just as it's nearly daytime, I've managed to get one. I've got the items I need, but I've just realized that this guy is miles away from my house. It's going to be a fun task getting him back home. This guy is now ready. Let's get him out of here. And somehow, <laughs> I've got to try and lure him back to my house. And I'm pretty sure using job site blocks is going to be the best way. I've only got 500 blocks to go this <laughs> it shouldn't take me too long it's taken some time but we have uh, we finally got this guy in here and i'm gonna sleep next to him and with that done i can now remove this wall that separates the villagers and eat some melon since i've completely run out of food and next i wish to bone meal more wheat then that can be turned into bread and given to the villagers and i do also have enough sugar cane to make two more books and use those to make a bookcase and from that we can make a look turn <laughs> look at this we got a baby villager i'm gonna use this like turn to get a first upgrade from a villager the plan is to get mending from him but we shall see finally i've got mending but i've just realized a crucial mistake of <laughs> I've got no emeralds. I'm going to make this guy Fletcher. I'm going to quickly sleep. Now I really quickly need to get some emeralds. I'm going to give this guy some sticks. And there we go. He will give me three emeralds. And if I go on you and I'm just going to buy a bookshelf and then at least it's done. And I can get mending from this guy anytime I want. I can probably get some more villagers now as well. Let's also take these diamond ores and use this fortune too to see how many extra diamonds we can get. Look at that, a grand total of nine. I feel like if I really want to get the process moving along, I'm going to need way, way more sticks. And I have bone meal. I have a sapling. I've got dirt. Time to see what we can do. I believe if I use this pickaxe, I've got a higher chance of getting a sapling. Although, hey, we already got two. That's super good. Once I get four, I'm going to start doing mega tiger trees. There we go. We got the fourth one. To be honest, we've got saplings coming from everywhere. It's brilliant. Let's really get some big trees. We can go like that, bone meal it. And after a few tries, I'm going to waste all my bone. Okay, it's the snow getting in the way. Take two. There we go. <laughs> we got a massive one. I reckon swimming up with water is the best idea. This gets you so, so much more wood than four individual spruce trees ever could. And that is great news for this villager. I'm going to buy another bookshelf from you. Then mine it with my axe to get three books. And then... We can buy mending. And I can also craft one of these and really start to upgrade my items. Well, I will be able to once I've got a load more bookcases at least. I do feel like you kind of get less saplings back when you do it like this, but... It's still got to be worth it. And with this, I've got enough bookcases. I've got the lapis. Now I can start upgrading my tools. Already, I've got a prop four unbreaking three thorns too. That's pretty insane. And some pretty nice leggings as well. So now I've got the villagers. I've got a place to upgrade my items. But now I need a way to get XP. Lots and lots of XP. And to do that, I'm going to create a super simple gold farm. Nicely dug an area down here for this. I'm also going to add three, well, a couple of ladders just to get up here. And I just need to spleef you out of here, mate. You're kind of in the way. And on top of here, there can be slabs and trap doors on each side here and to make this as safe as possible i'm going to add blocks all the way around here just leaving that gap right there also blocking this ladder and add one right there and a few here and the farm is ready all i have to do is anger all the pigmen and they will come to me and walk down there and if i keep wandering around i can anger them from far and wide and collect the xp and i'm going to keep doing this to get loads and loads of levels this xp farm has been decent but i think i can make something a bit better and to do that i'm first going to make a brand new pickaxe as well as an anvil and this pickaxe can have mending 
added to it. Then I can gather up loads of these blocks and create an ender chest, place all the blocks in there. And then I can pick up the ender chest using my silk touch. I'd also like to get a little bit more dirt, place it right here, plant some saplings and grow them. And that way I can get lots more wood. And that's gonna be used to make ladders. And my pickaxe just broke. <laughs> nice one. On that note, let's begin digging upwards towards the top. I've made it to bedrock. This is how I'll get above it. But I have, of course, got to make sure I've got a way back down. And since TNT isn't really an option, I'm going to instead have to use a portal. And since food is also getting a bit scarce, I'm going to bone meal some more. First things first, we climb up here, we throw an ender pearl, and we're up. Next, I build a portal so that I can get back out of here. And then I'm going to build up about 120 blocks. And now I've just realized there's not really an easy way for me to get down here. I'm so used to having my elytra there. <laughs> I'd normally just use that. So instead, I'm going to have to do something like that. And that was very, very scary indeed. And, and, and in hindsight, a little bit reckless. But hey, it was a pretty safe option as well. But all's well that ends well. We can now safely place the ladders. And next, I'm going to build a bit of a room. This room is going to have blocks along like this. And a wall around here. And also around here. And then from here, I just need to get to work and build a giant platform. So something's gone a little bit wrong here, but um, I'm pretty confident I can still survive, I think. I've just got to... Oh no, there goes my ender chest. I've now finished a nice little perimeter around the edge. Time to thicken out this platform. Now the platform is a bit bigger. There are mobs everywhere. And there we go. I've used up all my blocks. Actually, never mind. There's a few more in the ender chest. And this time, I actually have used up all my blocks. The only things missing are a load of trap doors to cover up these tops. And to also place in here when I get rid of these guys. Okay, they really are all piling in. <laughs> I didn't expect that. This, maybe I made this too powerful. Well, this is definitely the best way to get XP. All I'm missing is a few slabs to go on top like this. And some trap doors right here. And now with this great power, I must max out my armor. It's great to be getting a bit of gold from this as well. I always think one of the best things you can make for this is a grindstone. It just makes resetting upgrades much, much easier. If I really want to upgrade my tools and items, I'm going to need to improve my gold farm a bit more. So I'm going to start by making some hoppers and also six buckets. Next, I'm going to come down here and grab lots of powdered snow. I'm also very quickly going to get some emeralds so that I can get more mending, which can be applied to these leggings. Now, you probably want to know what the powdered snow is for. If I just throw my ender pearl... Oh, we'll have another... Okay, there we go. <laughs> Took a few attempts. But anyway, I've thrown my ender pearl. Now I just need to climb up here and I'm going to place the powdered snow in here. These blocks can be changed to be hoppers and some chests at the end. And if I anger the pigmen... We should get loads down here. It's not as fast as using minecarts, but it does mean I can still AFK in here. I feel like gas really are a serious problem with this farm. I'm going to have to do something about them. And to do that, I'm going to need lots and lots of slabs. And mining up wood is going to be the best way to get them. And while I'm at it, I might as well give some of this wood to this guy. Let's craft loads of slabs. And my idea is to place them all the way around like this so that the gas cannot spawn. And then also like this on the inside layer. And now it is completely gas proof. And I'm getting all the XP I could dream of. I've modified the design even more to make it faster. It's a bit of a weird chamber but they will fall down there. Powdered snow is just too slow for me. Although it seemed like a good plan at the time, the powdered snow has got to go. Now to test out the final design. It's just missing trap doors all the way along here. It's been a couple of minutes. Let's see how good the farm has been. Well, it's got me over 50 levels. I'm happy with that. Now to put them to good use. And I also wonder if I use powdered snow, can I kind of do a nice slow descent instead of... <laughs> A dangerous one. There's only one way to test this, so we go like this, and look at that. Gracefully, we drop down. Yeah, we're a little bit cold, but we'll uh, we'll soon warm up. Now I can upgrade all of my items. And after not very much time, I've got some pretty good items. I just need to get more emeralds from this guy, and more mending from that. Let's put mending on my helmet, on my sword, and also my chest plate. And now back to the farm. So now I'm going to just chill here and get loads and loads of XP. Quite a bit of time has passed, and the farm has been working really nicely. It's completely full. It's also let me get loads and loads of gold, and also 66 levels. Now, if I craft one of these and place it here, I can do some trading with this guy. I've also got loads more that can be traded right here. This guy is probably going to be very happy, since I can also trade him loads of gold as well. And from all that trading, I've managed to get over 85 emeralds. But I'm also going to get more bread, since I'm still going to need way more villagers. I've also managed to get these two very nice pickaxes but they both need mending which is easily bought from this guy and the only other thing that needs mending now is my boots there we go perfect next i'm going to pop to the gold farm and repair all my items and the plan is working perfectly because all my pickaxes are now fully mended so i now have full prot 4 armor and some great upgrades to my tools but i'm still a peasant wearing diamonds and whilst i do already have eight pieces of ancient debris i'm going to need a lot more to get full netherite armor so that's what we're now going to go searching for and the reason i need to get these 
use good pickaxes is so I can mine much, much faster. My plan for this is to kind of mine in this fashion. And there we go. We already found one piece of ancient debris. Okay, make that two more pieces. And the good thing is I can keep mining quartz to repair my pickaxes. Two more pieces have been discovered, so that is five altogether. No, make that six. Just two more pieces and I'll be able to get full netherite armor. There we go. Okay, we've got one more. Please be two. No, it was only one. Another one. Okay, that's piece number 16. Okay, this is the 20th piece of ancient debris, and we've got the 21st one. Okay, nice. I found two more. It's actually three. This mining for ancient debris is going pretty well. Two more right here. Piece number 27 and 28. And this is going to get me to 30. I think I'm going to aim for 36 pieces, and then that should be everything that I need. And that's two more pieces. Okay, that's all that I need. But if I could get three more, then I could get the legendary netherite hoe. And there we have it. A 38th piece. And I think, yeah, this is 40 now. And I've even got a spare one for good measure. I just can't stop finding this stuff now. <laughs> I'm just trying to mine my way back home and uh, we've got a real overload. And I have found the 44th piece. That's 11 netherite ingots. And there's three more here. Oh my goodness. Now that I'm back, I'm going to go to the gold farm and repair all my items. And my pickaxe is now fully repaired. Let's put all of this into furnaces and then make a smithing table. Let's also craft the netherite ingots. And this is going to allow me to make full netherite armor plus all my tools can be maxed out as well so now i have the netherite gear i have very powerful upgrades so i think that it's time that i went on a journey a journey to defeat the all powerful ender dragon and that will then let me have access to one of the best items in the game the elytra and using the elytra i can explore the secrets that this world has to offer before i go i think it may be wise to make a bow and grab some arrows next i need my ender pearls i've got my blaze powder so let's craft the eyes of ender let's also buy loads more emeralds then i can buy some lapis and i can also combine these bows that i've got to create a pretty powerful one that's enough preparation time to begin searching for the stronghold turns out i've now gone past the stronghold so it probably shouldn't take me too long to find it i have to say ice spikes biomes are a bit of a pain to navigate for this but let's have another throw okay yeah it's basically somewhere on that mountain i'm pretty sure digging down anywhere around here should get me there there we go we're straight into the stronghold and the bookcase room i was actually hoping to find this place because books are just going to be very very useful and also paper since i am growing sugarcane but it can take a while wow there's a spawner connected to this stronghold that's pretty cool with some bread <laughs> well i'm struggling for food at the moment so that was a pretty good find what about this okay more books and paper nice and the other bookcase room was really close i'm also going to grab a bit of wood since i don't have any on me and i always think it's better to be safe than sorry when it comes to resources like that. Let's also load up all these books into the ender chest. And here we go, the portal room. With one eye in, so we're going to fill all of these and head to the end. All right, dragon, time to meet your maker. Should be fairly straightforward, just got to shoot all the towers. This is also an infinity bow, which is pretty handy. I can waste as many arrows as I like, which is probably a good thing because I'm missing a lot of shots. I'm struggling to get the ones that are higher up, so I'm going to build my way up. I don't have feather falling on these boots, so I have to be a little bit careful. Okay, dragon, you're kind of in my way here. I'm, I'm just trying to go right past you. There we go, and that's the final tower. Let's jump on down and finish the job. This powerful bow is now going to be pretty useful as well. There we go. It's come down. I've managed to hit myself. That's not a good idea. And he very quickly flew away. We do a lot of damage with that sword. Here we go. I think this is going to be it. Just to get in here before it bonks me away. There we go. Perfect. And I just can't quite reach. Okay, there we go. The dragon's been defeated. And I accidentally walked straight through the portal. <laughs> We're not done yet. Look at this. Precious torches that came through. We got two torches. Amazing. But yeah, now I've got to run all the way back to the stronghold. Thankfully, I do have the coordinates. So I believe right here is the spot that I dug down. So if we just go like that, we can follow this round and get straight to the portal. Now this time, I want to collect all the XP without falling in. Next, I'm going to head to the end gateway. Throw that ender pearl like so. We've made it through and the search for the end city can begin. Also, I'm not sure, but I reckon chorus fruit might actually be a better thing for me to eat. Of course, I do have to be careful because I'm going to teleport every single time. I'm also going to have to be careful with ender pearls. I'm pretty sure that's going to make, I mean, it's going to be terrifying if I fall in but Look at that. Easily made it. And now the fun part begins of bridging across these gaps. Just kidding. I'm going to ender pearl instead. And we got an end city. Hey, that was a pretty good ender pearl because look. I think, well, maybe there's not an end ship, actually. Sadly, as it turns out, there isn't an end ship, but it's still going to be a great place to explore and get loot. And I'm very glad that I'm finally getting shulker shells, too. Lots of gold in here. We've got, hey, hey pretty good, because that shovel I could combine so I can make efficiency five shovel. Nice boots that I don't think I need them, though. But also an ender chest, which is always useful. And the only other room with any loot is right here. And hey, some diamonds, which are going to be useful for my diamond hoe. That sword's not really going to be useful, but I'm going to grindstone it and then I might be able to do something better with it. And whilst I'm here, I will also grab the ender chest. Now, if I eat this chorus fruit, 
Look at that. Teleports me straight down here. And I see another end city in the distance. Look how close we are. This is a little risky, but if I eat this, will it teleport me a lot? Look at that. Chorus fruit. <laughs> it's very useful. Also, this is sadly a tiny end city with no elytra. So I'm not even going to waste my time with it. What's that I see in the distance? It's another end city. And this time... It does have a ship. Elytra, here I come. I'm not really sure what my plan is to get across here. Do I Do I just float along? I'm going for it. <laughs> Guys, please shoot me. I, I might not make it otherwise. I've made it with loads of time to spare. Let's grab these beautiful things. Sky's the limit. And we also get some nice loot here. And on that note, I'm going to equip the Elytra and take them for a spin. I'm not really sure which way I want to go. Hopefully they work. Yeah, <laughs> that would have been a problem if they didn't work. And sadly, I didn't think ahead to bring gunpowder so I cannot make any rockets. Okay, this has gone a little bit pear-shaped. Um, just need to land here. Don't get angry at me, you stupid end of <laughs> Of all the things to happen. I slightly overestimated my flying abilities. Whoa, you're still alive? This might just be the undefeatable Enderman. Just kidding, I can defeat him. I've got loads of Endermen chasing me. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I, I see. Hey, you know what? That was a great move. I just want to find an end gateway and go back home. And speaking of which, there's one of that. Are you kidding me? Did I really just look at that guy? And before I head through, I'm also going to grab some chorus fruit to take home with me. And of course, the other thing to remember is to bring the egg. I don't really have any other item to do this, so I'm going to place a bed and that should break it. Yeah, perfect. And because I broke the bed I slept in, it has taken me back to spawn. A long journey is ahead. But the good thing about this journey is that I can use my elytra. Not what I was looking for, but a ruined portal on the way. <laughs> Apparently already been here. And last time I was here, I regretted not bringing the clock. So this time I'm taking it. And here we are. Home sweet home. As I always do now, I'm going to place a lodestone with the dragon egg on top of that. Offload these millions of arrows that I never needed. Use all of my gunpowder to make some firework rockets. I can also grab the spare netherite scrap to make more netherite ingots. And finally, the netherite hoe. Let's also make a couple of chests and then we can make a couple of shulker boxes. Not got anything to put in them right now, but they no doubt will be useful. And thanks to all these books, I can come over to this guy, buy another mending one and add that to my elytra. Look at that, I managed to get a looting three book, feather falling four, and also four unbreaking books, which when combined all together, get unbreaking three, which is also very useful for my elytra. I may have defeated the ender dragon, but there's still one thing stopping me from battling three withers at once, and that is totems. But that is easier said than done. In this world, there are no mansions, no outposts, and no villages. Instead, I'm going to need to find a pillager patrol and then defend my own village. I kind of just have to wait and hope for a patrol to show up, but in the meantime, I'm going to finish maxing my armor, which means buying a bookcase from this guy, crafting another lectern, and attempting to get thorns three. And there we go. Good news is we got thorns, but we need another eight emeralds. Okay, hopefully he doesn't actually change his trade. I need to, um, I need to do some buying. I'm sure this Fletcher is happy to sell sticks to me. Well, I mean, he's happy to buy sticks from me for emeralds. And then we can purchase thorns. I also get the feeling that if there is a pillager patrol anywhere, the golem's going to take him out. So I need to beat him to it. I'm going to grab all of these books, pick up this amber and head to my gold farm to get way more XP. I have to say, being able to fly right up to the top is a lot better than climbing the ladder. Whilst I'm getting all this XP, let's keep adding things onto my items. Fishing C5 pickaxe, very nice. And feather falling four boots. And now that that has thorns three, it is a fully maxed out chest plate. And my other pickaxe is also fully maxed out. I'm happy with what I've got and I can also do loads of trading because emeralds are going to be important to get more thorns books. So let's buy one, two, three of these. And then that can be added to all of my armor. Let's also grab this book. And if I get 19 levels, I can put it on my boots and then I think they're fully maxed out. So just bear with me for a moment while I get the rest of the XP. From all this, I have got more than enough XP. There we go. The anvil even broke, but we now have full maxed out armor. All of them are fully maxed. And that's always a great achievement if you ask me. One nice thing about being able to fly is I can carry this stupid floating log that's been bothering me. Let's also do more trading with these two. No doubt those emeralds will be useful very soon. Since I'm still waiting for that pillager patrol to show up, there's something that I need to do in the meantime. Because living off chorus fruit isn't really a good thing. And to do that, I'm going to build a hogling farm so that I never go hungry again. For this, I'm going to need a few items and materials, such as warped fungi, some more wood, and then the rest of the the items that I need can all be obtained from the overworld, such as a load of stone, a little bit of dirt, slabs, some glass, and a bunch of other items that are all in this shulker box. So first of all, I'm going to throw this ender pearl to go above the bedrock, and then I'm going to fly over to where there's a crimson forest. And from here, I'm going to go up about five blocks and start building this thing, which involves building a 13 by 13 platform. I've added dirt in these positions, so now we need to put the warped fungi on top with fences on top of each of those. And now for the place that the hoglings are going to run to, there's going to be a little thing here. And 
and also one right there. And then we're going to need six trap doors like this that are all going to be shut and also some on the other side. And this is what the finished product of up here is going to look like. So then they're going to come down here and let's also build a place for them to fall down. So we're going to have two blocks everywhere like this. So it's a bit of a chamber with my chest and hopper system right here. Next, I'm going to put trap doors on top of all of the hoppers with a bit of lava on top of that. And I'm going to completely light up the platform with torches like this. And there we go. The farm is now complete. I just need to build a tower right here to AFK from and I can build a platform at the top and my food problems will soon be over. A few days have passed. Let's go and see what we've got. Okay, I obviously left it running a bit longer than I expected, but we have got more than enough pork chops to sort me out. Finally, my days of eating chorus fruits can be over. And now we can go home sweet home. It's quite handy that it's nighttime right now because I am completely out of firework rockets. So getting some gunpowder is going to be very useful. 20 gunpowder is pretty good. We've got loads of sugar cane here as well, which can all be turned into paper. And more firework rockets are sorted. And look at this. This is kind of, there's a creeper right here. Okay, I'm going to be quite careful. If that creeper blows up, it would be a disaster. But there's even more firework rockets. I just upgraded my hoe. It now has efficiency four and fortune two. And I, I don't really know the use of those, but uh, might as well have them. So since there is still no sign of an illager patrol, I think it's time I went back through the portal to get the rest of the items that I need to spawn three withers. But thankfully, there is a fortress that is very near my portal. The amount of mobs spawning in this fortress is pretty terrible, so I'm going to go and find a better one. No fortress, but I have found a bastion with loads and loads of gold. This fortress is in a basalt delta. It might be a little bit better, although it does then move out of that biome, so I'm going to try and find a better one. Now, this fortress does look more promising. This seems like a good place. Time to get searching. I have pretty much got everything that I need now. I've decided to only go for one wither because <laughs> getting enough for three where there's just going to take me too too long and I can't be bothered to do that. So all that's left for me to do is put my electron on and fly back home. Here's my portal ready and waiting and the rest of the items that I need are in these two chests. And all these extra bones are brilliant because I can now use them on my wheat. And I can turn all that into bread. I can give it to my villagers who uh, <laughs> will all get out of bed just to get some bread. That's right guys, even villagers love a good midnight feast and I can sleep in their bed without them realising. I think now before I can go any further, I need a pet. You know, I I'm living life, it's, it's tough living it all by myself. So I want to make a fishing rod and this part is very exciting. <laughs> We're going to do some fishing. In fact, I'll make it even more exciting. Have you ever been to sleep whilst you're fishing? Look at that. Still didn't get a fish. <laughs> this is great. There we go. First thing. It was a puffer fish. That's, that's like the one fish I don't want. I think it's time for a change of tack. Instead, I'm going to go polar bear hunting. Don't actually do this in the wild, but they're a great way to get fish. Only problem is they're an endangered species in Minecraft and in real life, so they're quite difficult to find. And now I feel quite bad about it, so I'm going to go back to being a respectful, humble fisherman. One full day of fishing is enough for me. We've got loads of that. I'm going to get some sleep. Now, what am I going to do with all this fish? You can probably guess. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we've got these little fellas. But yes, right now, I'm currently looking for a cat. I have seen them before, but right now, we haven't got any. But when they do turn up... <laughs> I'll be ready. I hear a cat. Hold on a second. Where's my fish? I was too hasty in thinking there wasn't any around. Now, I heard it when I was about here. Is it? <laughs> this is going to take a bit of a search. I can only guess that it's run up this mountain somewhere. Aha! Why, why are you going so far? And it doesn't help that you're white, so you're completely blending with the snow. All right, little fella. Look at one fish wonder. We've had some of you guys before. Although last time that happened, people accused me of editing out the other fishes. <laughs> well, I didn't edit it out that time either. Okay, I didn't edit it out either times. So you can sit there, little kitty. And it'd be great if I could get a name tag from one of these. Maybe by buying a bit of gold, I can upgrade you a little bit more. And then even more again. And look at that. 19 emeralds for a name tag. But don't worry, you you guys, you, you'll, you'll take the gold, won't you? You've restocked as well. Perfect. So now we'll just go over to you, buy a name tag. And I've just realized my other anvil broke because I use it too many times. But don't worry, plenty of iron waiting for me in the chest. We can easily make a new one. And you shall be called Icicle. <laughs> That's what's going to happen to you if you sit there for the rest of your life. I do have a couple more pieces of gunpowder right there. So let's make a few more firework rockets. And I think I'm going to do a little bit of exploration, see what I can find. A ruined portal has been found with obsidian and a golden apple. Now they're pretty difficult to get. Another thing that I realized in this world is that ruined portals are extremely hard to find. And there's another one down here, but I'm not sure if I've already been to it. Um... I have no idea. Either way, it's an extra gold block, which is nice. More gold for these guys. And wow, you've, you've put your prices up. What did I do to upset you? This guy, though, he's, he's still giving me the discounts. Let's go ahead and move this dragon egg. And instead, put it in front of all the villagers. They should know what I've been through to, to do this, I guess. Look at this. this, this whoa, did, he, did you just get rejected by that villager? You are a nasty, nasty villager. You, on the other hand, you're a good villager, so I'm going to buy a bookshelf from you. Then turn it into a lectern and begin work on getting a sharpness five book for my sword 
and for my axe. And after that, I think I'll be ready for the battle against the wither. There we go. This guy's got sharpness five for me. I'm going to need a few more emeralds if I want to get it for my axe as well. well. Let's put that on my sword. Perfect. Nice little upgrade. There is a little bit more gold here. I could plant some more trees as well. That could be an idea. We'll just see how business is with these guys. Okay, well, you're not charging me too much. What about you? Oh, you both put your prices down. That's more like it. And that means I can afford another sharpness five. And I play it to my axe. And now there isn't much else I can do in preparation for this battle against the wither, except for one very important thing that I definitely need to do. And that is to collect up iron, because if I don't have some sort of thing to put the beacon on, well, what's the point of taking out the wither? For a full beacon, I'd need 10 stacks of iron. I'm not sure I'm going to go quite for that much. But now that I can use Fortune 3 on iron, you, you just never know. We're in a great ravine with lots of it all around, so who knows what can happen. Already, I've got one stack and I've barely done any. Look at this, an axolotl. Well, I can't say no, you guy, you little fella. I'm coming in my bucket. We've also come across a spider spawner here. Let's get rid of that. Anything good? Another golden apple. Nice. And after mining up this, I now have over five stacks of iron. But I'm not stopping there. Although I've just realized I'd need 24 stacks to build a full beacon. So I actually am stopping there. Here we are back home. Let's begin the smelting process. I think we need more furnaces. So let's craft a few of those. One, two, three, four. I can also load them up with blaze rods, which is going to be pretty useful. Whilst that's all smelting, let me add this little axolotl into here there you go this is your now your new home i don't know if it's better or worse and don't get any ideas do not eat him and i think all that's left to do now is battle the wither yes the moment you've all been waiting for i've just really why, why is the ender chest in there i wondered where my ender chest went as i was saying the moment you've all been waiting for for this to work properly we are going to need a few arrows so we've got loads of them i'm going to come a little bit away from my house because well can you even call it a house my, my base of operations because i don't want everything to just be blown up well that was anticlimactic <laughs> turns out the snow's in the way and here we go. Bow ready, sword ready. Honestly, what could go wrong? Already I've been withered. We're just going to keep using this bow. It's powerful. It's pretty good. Already getting down to half health, although I'm also at half health. You know, I've got to look after myself as well. If I just keep using these arrows, there we go. The next phase. Okay, now we're going with the sword. Oh, wait, it's digging me into a hole. Whoa, it's brought me out of that. What is going on here? I'm going to water bucket my way out of here. Pick that up. I realized that snow and dirt is not very blast resistant against the wither. Now is going to be a very good time just to have a quick golden apple, recuperate. And you know what? I'm just going to do nothing. I am going to do nothing and watch the wither destroy itself. There you go. I, I did nothing. I'll tell you what I did do. I did get a lot of snow out of that. Hey, it's a pretty good snow farm is <laughs> battling the wither here. But we also got the nether star. So we can craft that like so and patiently wait for the iron to smell. It <laughs> could take a little bit longer. All right, guys, I don't want you to get too excited, but I've seen another cat. I need to go and get some fish. Will tropical fish do it? I have no idea. Don't go over there, cat. <laughs> There's a lot of destruction. I think it's safe to say you do not care about tropical fish one bit. Grab me salmon and me cod. Now then, cat, where did, you, where did you go? You're down here. And there you go. One fish again. You guys just love only having one fish. And what happens when you put two cats next to each other and both feed them fish? You get a baby cat. There we go. And you uh, you look just like your mother. Gonna sit you down there, you down there. There's just gonna be cats everywhere at this rate, isn't there? Meanwhile, you're asleep on my bed. I don't know who you think you are. No matter. Let's gather up all the iron, craft loads of blocks, and build a little beacon. I will just reiterate, it's not gonna be the biggest beacon in the world. But hey, for like one day of mining, I'm pretty happy with the size of it. Okay, mate, you're just gonna have to move over a little bit. There we go. I need to get into my own bed. Now I feel like I'm just sleeping inside your head. That's all I can see. You gave me chicken. Thanks. Actually, chicken's kind of rare. Like, I, can only, I, I could get it, I guess, in the... Yeah, maybe it's not that rare. Those can go there. Just need three more. And here we go. I mean, it's not... Yeah, it's not gonna be a massive full beacon, but we can get jump boost resistance. Let's just get haste. That's a pretty solid thing to go for. And there we go. We've brought home the beacon, as the, as the advancement says. We've got a bit of haste. Hello guys, yes, I'm back from my travels and I've, I've finished exploiting you guys. If, if you want to go outside and see the world, who am I to stop you? Just make sure you come back home before it gets dark. I feel like my best idea is going to be to get a door and create a bit of an entranceway like that. There we go, much safer. Another cat? Why is there so many cats everywhere? Honestly, there's only one solution to this problem. And that is to wrap things up. Yeah, there's not much left this day. We've done 100 days in a hardcore Ice Bikes world. Thanks so much for watching.